the, you mentioned new and existing renewables and how those are recognized in the rating system and, and used by project teams. So I think the question was really looking for a bit more clarification on how that is structured and probably where folks can find the details around that in, within the rating system. Sure, thanks, Melissa. So in version 4.1, we have a new uh, we have new criteria for renewable energy, and this version 4.1 renewable energy credit combines uh, two credits from lead version four. Lead version four; uh, those credits were green power and the renewable energy production credit. Um, we're excited about this version 4.1 credit structure because it really recognizes the way that the renewable energy market is rapidly evolving and has evolved since LEED version 4 was released in 2013. Um, it also recognizes and provides teams flexibility to um, choose diverse, diverse um, or sources of renewable energy. And we hope it also addresses feedback from our customers on V4 require, requirements and improves um, the way that teams can achieve credit for sourcing renewable energy in LEED. So specifically the question I think um, was in regard to the way that we're sort of classifying the different types of procurement. And I'd encourage you know, all attendees interested in this topic to look at our rating system red line as well as the content that we have in the version 4.1 um, design and construction beta guides. But in short, in version 4.1, We've sort of bucketed the different uh, methods of renewable energy procurement into on-site renewables and then off-site renewables. And then under that off-site renewable structure, we have new off-site renewables, which are defined as those built within the last year or contracted prior to renewable energy project development. Um, and then existing off-site renewables are defined as those that are contracted from an existing renewable energy provider. So we are um, permitting teams that basically can demonstrate that they were instrumental in making a new renewable energy project come online, be that sort of a um, community solar project or perhaps a contract in the form of a power purchase agreement or virtual power purchase agreement to take credit for the, green, or the greenhouse gas emissions from fossil fuels that are being displaced um, in their energy model um, for the optimized energy performance greenhouse gas emissions metric. So hopefully, um, I, I know it's a bit, a bit tricky to describe that without the credit language in front of you, but if you have follow-up questions based on the information provided as well as the version 4.1 rating system requirements, we're happy to address those. 